I'm gonna be honest. I'm just. I am so excited for this. I am. I am too excited for Aberration. This is the whole reason I even got this. I'm sure it's a, a reason a lot of people got this game, was mainly for this map. I know there's a lot of people who agree with me at that, where it's just like this is the one, and I'm so excited to play. Look at this. Look at this picture. I haven't seen anything on this because they never released a trailer or nothing. Because Wildcard doesn't even care about the game. They're just like, we're gonna release it September 4th. That's all they said. Eight months later. No trailer, no nothing, absolutely didn't even show up, and then it was just like, yeah, we're going to post it the next day, and then there was some dumb glitch where, like, you're like, oh, here's the new DLC on Steam for Aberration, let's hit download, launches the game. Thanks, wildcard. I love that the download button just launches the game, and it doesn't download anything to the game that you need to in order to play a new map. But yeah. Annoying as wildcard can be, I am super excited for Aberration. What is this thing? I actually don't know any details. This must be one of the new dinos they're adding. I, I have not paid attention to any of this. I've only ever kind of seen, like, maybe the something else in these maps. And, like, you know, when I did my little playthrough on Scorched Earth for the most part, but then I kind of canceled it because I was like, you know what, I don't feel like doing that at the moment because I had some other things I was wanting to do. But, um, I mean, why it's frozen because my this game does not work well and we only have one hour and I'm not going to edit this one. I just want to post it raw so whatever is said is said. Oh, I was going to read that. Well, whatever. That is kind of the rules of this video right now because I, I don't want to edit anything. I just want to post it however my first ex hour experience on this map goes, which I'm not going to try to tame or anything or level up or any of that nonsense. I strictly just want to run around a couple of the spawn points, explore, maybe even see a... Uh... Obi-Wan Kenobi lizard thing. I can't remember the name of it, <laughs> but we will customize this character pretty fast. Brian, oh, download survivor. Do I have one? It's loading my character list. Please don't be a waste of time. Please. 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 It's annoying me. It's annoying me. I just want my character to look normal. Where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, uh. I'll just, I'll just recreate them later. I just want to look at the map. I don't even care. Okay, aberration time. Portal. You know what? We're gonna look at the portal. You've come so far, Survivor. This place was once a You are louder park, than me. Filled with wondrous okay. creatures. Before it was contaminated and compromised beyond repair. Long ago. Helena confronted her fellow explorer Rockwell here when his obsession twisted him beyond humanity and reason. Even Helena this is so put an end to Rockwell's <laughs> madness. And he survived here in the shadows all this time, feeding on poison and growing stronger. You have to finish what Helena started. If we are to save Earth, Rockwell must be stopped. If there's anything left of the person that Helena knew, Edmund would want to be stopped. Steal yourself, Survivor, for here terrors await you. That sent me, as soon as she said he was feeding on poison, it sent me down like a rabbit hole of thoughts. Like, what's the difference between venomous and poisonous? Poisonous is if you ingest it or touch it Maybe it's and it, like absorb it through the skin, it hurts you. Venomous means if it pokes you or bites you. Might help me remember things better. Why the heck is Next Bob talking? Some kid starts hanging around me like a bad smell. Pester what is this nonsense? I didn't even buy that Just DLC. With Honker here. Oh. Fine by me. But you did say you had a really scary story next. About the place where you met... <clears throat> you know... Him. What the heck is this nonsense? Yeah. What is this bowl? Well, your old man's gonna come looking for me. <laughs> he finds out I gave you bad dreams. Okay, I'm gonna watch it though. I don't care, I guess. You can't even notice how I feel. Well, no need for my name to even come up, is all I'm saying. Quit stalling. Oh. Okay, okay. How about we call this one Journey to the Center of 
the Broken Ark. Mm. As long as it's the scary version. <laughs> okay. Careful what you wish for. Things got weird and dark down there. Especially for poor Doc Rockwell. What did he do? That was so bad. The guy got a little too curious for his own good. Messed around with some mumbo jumbo he shouldn't have. He wouldn't listen to anyone that tried to warn him, neither. Well, I'm listening to you, and I want to know all about it. Oh, it's so bright! Yo, you can't just do that to me. Like, are you being serious? Hey! Oh, the portal! Oh my goodness! <laughs> just hearing the little bit of music from Aberration, though. Like, I actually really love this map. Okay, hold on. Textures are gonna take a second to load in. Things are loading in. Oh. Oh my. Oh. I don't want... Oh, my computer needs to cook up a little bit. <laughs> Make sure I got fans on max. Okay. We are in aberration. The graphics look absolutely poo poo right now. That's okay. Oh my, so this is a portal? I don't know if I like this area better. I feel like these little loops that you can go through, it doesn't feel the same. Or it doesn't feel as big as it did before. Hold on, let's just move her a little bit. Maybe if I just move around, I can see the scale a little better. So far, actually, I'm not as impressed. Oh, oh I forgot there's baby creatures in this version of art. Oh, it's still really cool. Like, all the memories I've had of, like, just the journey of going across that big metal area up there. Oh, my. I'm curious what changes they actually made, though. I already can see it, that there's significant ones for this area here, but... Oh, my. What is that? That's a mushroom. Okay. Okay, I'm seeing it now. I'm seeing it now. Alright. Oh, there's a basilisk! I kind of think I should just let it eat me. I don't want it to eat me, though. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Hey, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, how was I even supposed to dodge that? It, like, it looked directly at me and shot this way, and it still killed... I would like to jump off from up here and then do the jump down into this place. So I'm going to respawn one more time here. Okay, it kind of told me where I was going to spawn so I have a better idea of where I'm at. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's nighttime on here. Night Just look at this part right here. This oh bulb dog. There's so many lights and cool colors for this. Although they just released it so it's probably going to be really trashy until they optimize it. That's probably why there's some weird flashes of color and stuff. But just look at all the weird different shades of green grass and the foliage everywhere. This really is my favorite map by far. Right now I'm trying to save up to get a uh, actual PC. Oh crap, the big ugly snake. I'm trying to save up for a better PC so I can just play this on max. But even though it's not on max, this looks so good. Like, just look at all the foliage through this place. Like, what the heck? Although the lighting is just absolutely broken right now. Oh my goodness. It is just insane to be back in Aberration. Now I would like to jump. Okay, I don't like how that thing's running towards me. I'm going to run up this way. I would like to run into some of those red mushrooms and see what that looks like. Although I don't think it's going to show up that great on YouTube though. That's probably going to be like a blurry mess, but... Um, okay. 
Here we go. This is the area I wanted to go up and through. Okay, I really like this place now. At first, I didn't really like the new portal look, but it was just from the distance over there. Seeing it from over here, it looks really nice. Okay. I think there's some things I might hate on a little bit, but it'll just take a moment for it to grow on me. Oh. Probably shouldn't be sprinting. This is Ark, after all, and it's a new map, so it's probably barely being held together by duct tape and glue. And it's cheap dollar store glue at that. Well, at best, but... All right. The part I really want to see is just right up here. And also, I want to see the blue forest. I don't know what that is called, but like, there's like the nameless and everything down there. Explore note. I'm going to ignore it for now. Oh, that immense sound of the wind. Alright, here we go. I'm just taking in all the sounds. We're going to actually see the map here in a second. The good part. Whoa, it feels like this bridge goes out a lot further. Okay, uh, 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 uh. Let's just try to, try to peek without falling off. I'm kind of seeing it. Alright. Let's just run down all the way this way first. Oh my... Aberration is just something else. There's a lot of people that hate on this map or never play it, and it's just like, how how do they not absolutely think this? Like, how, how can somebody disagree with this not being the very best map in the entire game? I don't want to fall off. I can't. This foliage is being so annoying. Foliage. Foliage. Come on, foliage. On the sides. It makes it scary. There we go. Now I can get over by the edge and be able to look down. Ish. Okay. Just the whole aesthetic of this map is just... It's just great. And the amount of foliage that I've added into this, this is way better than the original. Okay, I want to look over at this island over here. I, a lot of my friends always liked building on the island over here. You know what? I'm just going to jump. That little island right there, my friends always loved building on it. But, like, I just... I never personally enjoyed that island. Or, like, trying to build on it or anything. What's that purple thing on there? Oh, it's one of those plants that heal you with the tongue. And there is the little cave system back behind there. I'm curious how that looks. Honestly, I would build on that island now, though. It's looking good. Is that a raptor up there? No, it's not. Okay. I, I seen something. I caught my eye right here. Hmm. Okay. Now, I've always liked to build my starter base. Um, somewhere on this side, I'd like to take a quick peek at that. Once we get to 20 minutes, I do want to die and teleport to another spot. But, um, I want to take a look over here. Is that a Ravenger? Or is that a rock? I cannot tell. It, it's not moving. It must be a rock. That's a Ravenger. I'm going to absolutely flip. Is there Ravengers still? Did they bring back Ravengers? Ravenger, I'm having a bunch of bad flashbacks right now in my mind of Ravengers. Okay. This map is going to be a hundred times more terrifying with the foliage, though. These new plants are cool right here. Okay, let's just turn off the HUD. Okay, so one of the spots I've always liked to build is right in here. Because you can put some spikes alongside this. Because this is the only way in and out for most dinosaurs. And so, like, you can just, like, build in here and it's fine. Oh, it's a little bit different. I mean, it's a lot different. There's not as much space. What about right over here? Oh, it's way better than it was. Because now I can defend that little spot. Come in here, I can put a defense right here. And then I have this whole little cubby hole of, like, safety from, like, Ravengers and stuff. Oh, and I can go up? Uh. Uh. 
Hold on. I could probably put a platform here so I could get up onto this. And if I'm up on that, I could probably climb up a little bit. That is so much better, but there's no metal node here this time. Jump into the water. At least I'm not seeing a metal node over here. There used to be some metal nodes that you could get. I like that. Honestly, this spot seems way better. Okay. Now let's take a peek out here into the wilderness. I really like the way they did that spot, though. I used to live, there used, there's like a metal wall that was over here. I don't know if it's there anymore. Oh, there's the metal wall. Yeah, right there. I put a, uh, one of those cliff foundations on the side up there and put multiple of them with zip lines for, um, the Rav Ravengers to go up and down at. And I just, like, we made some houses up there on that wall. And it was just, like, it was on an official server. And that's basically the best we've ever done on this map was just living against that wall up there. And then, like, I took, like, a, uh, a gas ball area that was nearby. It was probably up through there, close to spawn. So he get the gas balls for the suits. Oh. Uh. Uh. I don't know what to, I don't know. I don't know how to deal with that. I don't know how to deal. Is it murdering me? Am I being murdered? What the heck is even that thing supposed to be? I didn't know they added those. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try to spawn up here. Hopefully we can see Fertile Lake. That throws a wrench in my gears if there's those things in that area. I don't even know how powerful is that? It's a Giga Raptor, right? I've only ever seen one of them one time and it was for about 30 seconds. And it was on the center when I was just running around trying to take a look at the map. Whoa, these mushrooms glow orange? That's super nice. I like that. I wonder what else glows at night on here. Even though it's not night and these are glowing. It's like... It's weird because the way they changed the map with this, it's like, say you're playing Skyrim again, but... And, like, you took away all your memories and you're replaying it for the first time, but you still remember it, but it's, like, it's different. It's like playing the same thing again, but everything that you knew before is changed and gone. It's like coming back to Aberration a thousand years later or something. Oh, my. There's going to be so many cool places to build. Look at that tunnel down that way. Okay. Oh! Oh! No mesh. There's no mesh. No mesh aberration 2024. <laughs> Here's Fertile Lake. Like, I actually feel like I'm absolutely lost in a foreign forest and I have no idea what's going on in here. Oh, more no mesh. I could crouch and hide in this. I could actually... Yeah, that's gonna suck for PvP people. Well, it's gonna be good for people and bad for people. If every single one of these rocks you can hide in. Good job on the mesh wild card. Keep it up. Okay, now I don't know if there's gonna be any spinos at the moment. Oh, just look at this. And the atmosphere. I'm gonna turn up the audio for the game. Hold on. I'm just gonna make it really loud. It's okay. So I'm only gonna get drowned out by other stuff. I just want the atmosphere to be louder. Bird stopped. Bird stopped over here. This foliage is awesome. So this is Fertile Lake now? Oh my, there used to be some mega base people that I knew that lived right around here. And the way the light's shimmering over everything. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited for this. Like, you cannot, like, you just would not even, you don't even understand. Oh, there's a Spino. I wonder if I could see any big crabs on here. Oh, I can't see at all. You want to just come eat me? i kind of seen what I wanted to see here at Fertile Lake. Oops. 
Although Fertile Lake is awesome. And then there's that big tech building up there. Okay. Eat me. Eat me. Eat me. Keep my eyes peeled for any big crabs in here. No crabs, okay. I mean, I could have enabled creative mode to explore, but, like, that always ruins it for me. Fertile river, lower mushroom forest. Um, I want to go to the edge one. Let's go get edge. Okay, where is it at? I want to see some nameless, too. My game. I just forgot. I just spawned in. I need to stand still. I could. You, you just take a look at any direction. Like, let's just get a night. Let's get up on this rock because it's foliage is like taller than me. What the heck was that sound? Okay, back to what I was trying to say. You can take any scene, scenery in this game, and just be like, this game throws you in naked with nothing, and you have to build everything up in a world like this. That's so crazy. Okay. Let's try to get to that blue forest by the edge. Oh, and this glows green? Whoa, why, why is that so... Why is that so... <laughs> so I... Deaf for that, those clovers. Ah, oh, that is like the rug. Why, why are those so bright and these dark? Oh, they're starting to glow. Okay. So they do glow. Okay, sweet. It's not just a texture glitch. It's one of those energy things. Oh, an earthquake? Oh, no. I hope that I hope that doesn't a wrench in my gears. I haven't seen any Ravengers yet, which is nice. I wonder what gyms and stuff look like. There's some stones and stuff. Come on, there's got to be a little gym that appears. Please tell me the gyms are nice and big like they used to be. Well, I'll see one if I see one. What the heck is that thing? What? Is that that new bird thing that they showed earlier? Whoa! They kind of glide around shooting down and they glide? That's horrifying. Oh. I'm getting out of here. That thing that thing means business. If that thing sees me, it's over. There's multiple of them. There's flying around airstrike and everything. My, and they're actually murdering stuff. I think one sees me. No, I just want to look at the blue forest. I will suicide bomb so fast off this. It's beautiful. It's absolutely amazing down there. It shoots feathers. I was full of feathers. <laughs> How is this a harder side of the cliff? Let's just see. I want to see those trees. Those trees absolutely look 40 times better than anything I was imagining. Oh crap, there's one of them right there. They're kind of cool. Hey. They don't do much damage. I don't know what the feather thing does. I think it slows me down. They do little to no damage. So, I mean, it's not like it's that crazy of a thing. Please leave me alone. You don't have to shoot more feathers into me. Just run out of stamina or something. Okay. Got to zigzag a little bit. I think I can get past him. Got killed by a yinling. A yiling? A yinling? I'm not certain how to pronounce that actually, but uh, those things are really cool. 
I want one. They looked a lot bigger when they were flying in the air, but when he was walking around, they're kind of like little harpies. It's actually kind of creepy. Little harpy raptors. Okay, I think that guy right there is friendly, so we're going to go hang out with him. Hey, how you doing today? Can I get a burger and fries? You look like you need a burger and fries, actually. Um. Oh, look at that blue color. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh. And those bright trees. Those bright blue trees. I've always wanted to live down in this biome. It's just so difficult. I want down there. Let me live. I wish they still had the glitch where I could just pause menu down, but I don't think that was ever on PC. Let alone in single player, so. Looks like there was something bad over here. Okay, I really do want to get down there. My one hour is almost up, and I want to be down here at some point, so we're getting down here. Look at these mushrooms. My game is starting to jitter pretty bad now that I'm coming down here. Oh, it just looks so nice down there. This map. I could literally, like, I don't even have to play the map. I can just find a nice spot and just look at it, and I'm happy. Oh, I know where this spawn point is. I remember one time I grinded for like an entire day just completely taking this entire area over on a PvE server because everyone always takes it and it was finally a good spot. And then once I built everything, we decided not to play. So then I was just like, oh. What are these? What are these blue rocks? Looks like Element 115 to me. Oh, there's those trees down there. That's all I want to see is I want to get up to those trees, but there's so much deadly stuff in Aberration. And honestly, Aberration might be better now on Ascended because there is less dinosaurs. And having less dinosaurs means I can move around a little more freely. But I still have to be careful. Um, oh, those trees. The trees. What's that sound? I think that's one of those big weasel hamsters. Or the big weasel hamster. I hear it. The audio in this game is still screwed up. It always disorientates me once, but what if I can just... I heard something bad right there. Okay, so... There's a rock drake right there. Look at these trees! Look at these trees! Oh my goodness, what? This is just awesome, too bad there's like 50 snakes right here. Like, there's no animals at all in the game, and then all of a sudden there's a thousand snakes. Hold on, I'm just gonna run straight this way and hope for the best. Do a little jump. You stupid snake, you better not hit me. Why is there so many snakes? Why is there so many snakes? There does not need to be that many snakes. Don't you dare, you ugly snakes. You ugly snakes. Ugly, hideous. 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 Yes, this is where I want to go. Into the purple zone we go. Oh, I made the worst jump possible. I made the worst jump possible. It's that way I wanted to go. Why is there so many snakes? <sighs> We're not going to be able to see what the surface looks like. I know that for certain. Unless I wanted to cheat, but I'm not going to cheat. Because if I even cheat just to look at the map, I will just always be using cheat codes. But if I just never cheat, then I never feel the need to, so... That's how you that's how you fight addiction, if you just don't start in the beginning. If you just, if you just stop it beforehand, it makes it a lot easier to not do it in the first place. Okay. 
Look at this area. Like, this entire map, every shot is a thumbnail, I swear. Every shot she could be painting on my wall. Oh, no. I hear some regular raptors. They can just get lost. So this is kind of what I have to look forward to for the knights on here. This is going to be cool. I haven't seen very many mushrooms, though. Hold on. Let's turn this on. Is it just berries? Oh, is there any new mushrooms by chance? This map looks so good. Okay, hold on. I want to just jump up this way. I mean, I suppose I could just look at my map like this and see where I'm at, but like... Eh. Looks like there's raptors down here and I definitely died of fall damage. I didn't. There's one of those big, nasty-looking hamster things. Okay, these waterfalls are super loud. I'm gonna be drowned out. I thought that was my death, but it was a little butterfly. Oh, that was a big drop! No! Oh, I can swim. Okay. I remember there being lots of piranhas on the map, but, uh, we're just gonna drift down this way and hope for the best. I have no idea where we're going or what I'm doing, so... Let's just see. Where do the rapids take me? I always like doing that on Skyrim occasionally. You just follow the rapids as far as they'll take you. And I might die right here. Oh, I survived it. Okay. The red flashes, I can already see it right now. When I get red flashes like this, YouTube pixelates the entire screen. ceiling this this whole map is just absolutely stunning just wait just wait until they remaster this version of arc and they do even better <laughs> okay now i'm looking way too far to the future i love the new orange trees though those giant mushrooms that glow orange now. That is such a nice aesthetic to throw in here with all the blues and other colors. I really like that. Oh my. I know I'm probably not commentating very well right now just because I'm absolutely like mind blown and I'm just enjoying just looking around at everything. I wish I could see more of those blue trees. For some reason, when I just look at them, it just makes my brain feel weird. It just makes me feel weird. And it's like, I don't even have, like, maxed out graphics on, and it's, like, blowing me away, so. For anyone that says they don't have a strong enough computer to play this game, I, I don't know what to say, because I'm playing this on a laptop, so. It may be a souped up laptop, but this game runs. It runs. A horse. Yeah, you just run off in fear. There's just, there's so much. Why is it so bright over here? Oh, I haven't seen any gotchas. Are gotchas on Aberration? Wait, gotchas come out on Aberration? No, they did not. No, they did not. They came out on Extinction. I wonder what Extinction's gonna look like after seeing this nonsense. Well, that's way down the road. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this map. <laughs> not get ahead of myself. This is the only map I wanted, too. Now that they have this map, I'm gonna have to play on it. Although, I don't know if I want to play on it now, or... When I get an upgraded computer, which will be a little bit, because I gotta get some funding for that. But uh, the computer I'm gonna make is, and it's only two thousand five hundred dollars. Some people say that's a lot, but it's really not much in the grand scheme of things. And it will be, yeah, it will have top of the line everything. So, um, I keep going to see what the level of these things are. 
I would like to see a Ravenger, though. I hear a hum. There's something shiny over there. Hold on, there's a hum and something shiny. Those babies sound like Ravengers for some reason. Okay, something, something shiny's attracting me. No way it's that energy thing. No, it's not this. There's something over there. This thing's so cool. But there's something over here making a sound. It's like... Like making me want to go to it. It's above me now. Hold on. Are the crystals humming? I think those crystals are humming. Wow, this this game, <laughs> this map is so low. It's making my eyes go silly because there's like so much. There's no there's no roof or floor or anything. Oh, there's some raptors right there. Gonna run up this way. Oh my! I just I I just can't. You snake in the grass. Let's see what the portal looks like at night. Let's see what the portal looks like at night. Here we go. We got about 13 minutes left before uh, we're out of time. So let's try to milk this, alright? Let's milk whatever's left in here. So there's these green crystals that you use for building stuff. I have not even hit pause once to see if there's anything fancy. Wait a minute. It says I can just use these. Aberrant ghillie suit? There's an aberration ghillie suit? Oh. Wait, did I get the other Bob storyline for free because I had the other one? That wouldn't make sense, would it? What is this? Steampunk structure skin? Oh, that looks so cool. Are those actually free? I think they're free. Wait, let's click on Bob and see if there's anything new in here. This looks new. Um, Anything in here look too new? This might be new. This is definitely... These are definitely new. This robot's new. Whatever the heck this thing is is new. Okay, so there is some new stuff in here. All right. Now, what about just for aberration? Let's see here. Anything look like it's new for aberration in here? Let's just scroll through and see. Pretty much looks all familiar to me. Tech sleeping pod. Tech railgun. Oh, that is a cool new reskin. All right. I'm happy I took a peek at those. The aberration ghillie suit, though. Oh, looks so good. It's blue as well. I like that. Um, let's see. I'm curious to see if they added new mushrooms or not. And I would like to also find some red mushrooms to see what that effect looks like on this edition. But I'm not seeing very many mushrooms. It's like they took the mushrooms out of the game. And I'd also like to see what a gemstone looks like, but no gemstones are spawning during the earthquakes. Oh, look at the glow on the portals. Oh, I gotta get up here and see. I don't wanna look at it just yet. I don't wanna look at it just yet. I wanna get up here and then, like, get a nice, like, good shot at it. Here we go. Let's take a look at this nonsense. Hold on, I don't want to look at it. I'm looking down on purpose. I'm looking down on purpose. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Purple, green, and red. That's cool. That's real cool. All right. Let's find a spot to die at, and we'll go somewhere else. 
Um, that Giga Raptor is going to be annoying because it's at spawn, and it's at the spawn where there's water. That almost looks like a giant skeleton up there. Oh, I wonder what the Xenomorphs look like. I'm just going to call them Xenomorphs. I don't know what they're actually called. But I'm pretty certain that if I say Xenomorph, we all know what I'm talking about. Giant black alien lizard demon thing that, like, crawls into your chest and breaks out. You know? It's pretty much the same thing, right? Might even have the same name. I don't know. I would have liked to see some of the nameless, though. I'm curious how well the uh, light pets work. I have a lot of questions. They can only be answered by playing. Oh, there's a giant snake fighting something down there. Now, the thing is, is I guarantee the PvP is going to go insane on here. There's going to have this... Uh, I don't even know how people even play PvP for this game. Like, what what non what do you have to be eating? What drugs are you on to want to play PvP in this map? Like, I, I just, I couldn't. That's not for me. I wouldn't have fun. I've never really had fun in PvP on here, though. I always just woke up and all my stuff was gone. I've never, I, I've tried to play it for, like, there was like a year where I just tried to play it. And all I would do is, like, build up. Go to sleep, wake up, everything's gone. That's all it is. There's, I've never had any situation where it was an actual player fighting me. And if it was, I would bolo them, shoot them in the head like four times, shoot them with some arrows, and they would just never die. They were just invincible. So it's just like, okay, they pumped all their stats into health, but it's just, it's just unbalanced in so many ways. And it doesn't matter how big your base is, you're just going to get flattened. So it's just like, it just kind of sucks. In my opinion. But I had some fun moments on it. An extinction. I uh, camped outside this one mega base's uh, base for like a day. Just scouting out. And I eventually seen their leader come out. And then I shot him in the head. Because they flattened my stuff when they weren't supposed to. We made a deal. What's that sound? What's that horrible sound I've never heard before? Oh, there's a bee down there. There's a lot of bees. Hey, you bees want to leave me alone, right? Anyways, I shot him in the head and they tried hunting me down in multiple servers, but they didn't know I deleted the game after that because I was done. I just wanted to get my revenge and I was happy. I used an ascendant uh, hunting rifle, I believe that's what it's called. It probably won't be too hard to get like a high level baby pet with all the stuff dying. That Carno's going to town over there. Hey, 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 bees, 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 bees! Can I lay down? Can I lay down or something? Sit. Get down on the ground. No, bees! You won't get me, bees! I would like to see one Ravager. I really hope Ravagers are in here. It's starting to make me think there is no Ravagers. All I'm hearing is dumb rafters. Although sometimes ravengers don't show up for the first day on the server, so maybe they just haven't spawned in yet. That could be the case. But no way there's like no ravengers on the map. I would like to go down and see the red and purple zone. And I know I don't have any, I have nothing in order to survive down there, but if I just dead weight fall into it. Which, if I follow these above me, they'll take me straight to that hole that goes straight down to it, so... You pile of garbage! Oh. I just left. Okay, I can go this way. Let's get my stamina up. This is probably my only chance to get down there, so we have to make it. I cannot make any mistakes on the way there. Now, if a Ravager kills me, that's a win, too, actually, though. To be honest. I would love to find a shine horn around here potentially on the way to the cliff. That would be insane. I just want to find something new or be able to jump down that hole. Those are our goals right now with the limited time that we have left. I don't need my HUD on. Here we go. It's actually real dark over here. I think it's because it's like a fork. <coughs> Somebody dropped. I think someone slipped and fell in my bathroom just now. And that was loud. I'm already on edge. Yeah, there's some snakes and stuff. 
I'd like to get down. Fall damage is so extreme on Arc Ascended, though. Okay. So that just falls straight down. Okay, it's right there. If I just beeline for it, I can go for it. Here we go. Oh, I thought those were shine horns. They were rocks. I heard something over there. I hear stuff. Is this where I would jump? I thought this would lead me to it. Do I need to go that way over there and then there's a drop down point? Hold on. I have, uh, for some reason, I am not seeing the big picture here. I made it. Please don't hurt me. Too bad. Okay. Let's see. I can't really see, though. It's like the Underdark and Skyrim. Oh. I'm just gonna bolt for it this way? I feel like I could do it? Oh, okay, I'm doing it. Oh my goodness. Okay. We have some time. If we go over the amount of time that I have, we will just... Go until I die. Okay. That was a whole load of nonsense. Is that Fertile Lake? That's Fertile Lake. Upper Mushroom Forest. We'll try Lower Mushroom Forest. We have a few minutes. I, all I have to say is that this map was long awaited for, and they honestly, they did such a good job on it, from what I've, from the limited stuff that I've seen. This is so good. And just look at just right here. There's so much going on. It's just insane how lively this game is. The amount of foliage and stuff they put into it, it feels like an actual living and breathing world. It actually feels like more than, a, than how living our world is. Our world's, uh, everything's starting to get covered in dust and it's like trees are turning gray and stuff. From all the dirt in the air. It's almost like everything's getting unsaturated, but it's just the dust. And everyone chopping down every stuff, all the stuff. So I don't know. Okay, we'll just run straight over here, check out this red thing. That is a Carno. I seen something flying in the distance. I'm just absolutely running as fast as I can. I want to see this red thingy. I'm absolutely cooking alive, though. Oh, this thing's cool. Oh, a scorpion. I was like, that sounds so familiar. Why is it that feels so weird? Okay, giant red beacon here. I mean, we could have checked out that cave I seen. Or I know of. This is a cool cave. This would be awesome to build in. You know what? I say we could just bolt there. Wait, we have more time than I thought I did. I forgot when 49 hits 50, that's not an hour. I'm silly. We have enough time to go into that cave. Um, look at those blue crystals going through. There's just so much color in life, and like, it's just, I, I, I don't know what to say. It is so good. Okay, I need this thing to eat me, though. I want to check out that cave. What in the heck are even you? 
Like, I wanted to die, but not to jump scare like that. It's different when that's, like, not what I wanted to kill me. Oh. Yeah, you can just eat me. I was just looking for some Ravengers in the area. Go ahead. I'm ready. Eat up. It's so hot in my room. It's so hot. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. I'm being fried. Now, I was going to post this yesterday. Or I was going to record and post this yesterday. But once I finished the uh, Space Marine campaign, I ended up getting a toothache that was so insanely bad that I just, like, I, I went to bed. And I couldn't sleep after that, so then I had to take, like, an ibuprofen or something. Whatever it was. Once I took that, the uh, pain subsided and I was able to sleep. And it, it's semi, like, it feels like it wants to come back, but, like, it's not coming back, so, like, I'm good, and that's why I was able to record now. Yeah, Space Marine's absolutely amazing game. It's just crazy that these two, Aberration and Space Marine, came out on the same day, because since of all the delays for this Aberration map. And so, like, I got overwhelmed. I didn't even know what to play first. I was going to play this for an hour first, but, uh, the continuous delays of how this game worked. Alright, let's try to get into that cave system. I think I might try to do a PvE server today, potentially. What day is it? Um, today is Friday, September 6th. Yes, I'm going to try to do a PvE server on here today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any recording on it. And I do want to play Space Marines Campaign over again, but this time recording it without my face cam or talking so I can just get the, uh, to the Maddox and such. And then this map, I want to actually, like, beat it. I want to get... I have some goals in place that I want to get. I want to get a Rock Drake, but I don't want to get a Rock Drake by like trading with another player. I actually want to go and get him myself. And I want to get like the Xenomorph thing, which I've never had one of those. Like I've had someone give me one before, so I kind of used one and had it. But I've never actually like went down there, found the queen, lowered her health down the lights and stuff like that, had her trapped, and then had her put the egg in my chest. And then like, you know raise it so i'd really like to try that okay here we go i don't even think i've been in a cave system on the other maps oh it actually like it has like a weird feeling entering it because it just seems so deep and dark like it has a different immersive feel in the cave oh in the shadow oh my Now, I know this cave can actually get a little bit insane further in with tons of enemies, because I've been in here a few times. But for some reason, I feel like there's a different exit that you can take. Okay, here we go. Hopefully nothing just jump out and kill me. Hopefully nothing jumps out and kills me. Uh, because I would like to see the open area, because there should be like a little open water area a little bit deeper in here. I'm not seeing anything. A little bit worried. There's no centipedes hiding in the corner, right? This is a lot different than what I remember, but okay. I remember there'd be tons of enemies right here. I just got an explorer note. Some glowing crystals? What if I go this way? I'm totally gonna get absolutely murdered in here though, in a second. I just, I feel it. There's no enemies in here. A variant 
piranha. There's piranhas in the water wall. I'm happy I didn't jump. Is there something I don't see in here? I should have brought a torch. It's dark. Do I need to climb up? Because I know the, the picks are in this game. I just lost? Am I missing something? There's gotta be something down here. I don't remember this being this way at all. I know they redid everything, so like it's probably completely different now, but like no enemies? This would just be a good spot to build at, at that rate. Hold on, it looks like there's another path this way. That was a cool rose I think I just seen. Here we go. Um, it doesn't look like there's any other path. I tried to make the jump. I missed. We can try one more time. Let's just run up that way. Oh, I think I remember. Uh, I see. I seen Bob's, like the bob trailer for this map I think and there's like little wrist spiders you can get and you can just use them like spider-man and just like launch them in the air or like spider-man around with this little yeah, I want to see this rose okay but yeah you can be like spider-man with these new little spiders that fit on your wrist they give you webs oh that was the lamest jump one more time, one more time, here we go, I got enough time. You know what, just eat me piranhas. Nah, just eat me piranhas. Eat me. Just eat me at that point. I mean, come on. If that piranha lets me live for this, it's just making me suffer longer. That piranha let me live. There's an earthquake happening and stuff like that. Oh my. Well, this map was amazing. If you haven't been able to give this map a try, I highly recommend that you play this, because this, this is absolutely amazing. And it looks like I am running out of time for today, so I hope you guys all enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, here we go. Final jump. Final jump. I'm so done. I am so done. Nope. I'm done for today.